Jeff Rosty first saw the miniature western town when he was eight years old. His grandpa Rudy handmade it using anything he could get his hands on, coupled with creativity. Four years later, his grandpa passed away and the western town went into storage, passed on to a couple of Jeff's uncles. You know, I have a, I have a creative mind. Grandpa had, obviously had a creative mind and, um, you know, you want, I was really driven to take this from 33 years in storage to make it into something and let people enjoy it. So I wasn't going to let it die. I wasn't going to let it, you know, not happen. So, I, I, you know, after, like I said, after a bunch of work, it, it came, came to be. Last year, Jeff was finally given all the pieces that make up the western town. There's a lot of work to do, restoring all of the buildings, the characters, and all of the moving parts. But now it is finished and on display in the Viking Plaza Mall just outside of DeMichael Bees. It really has been a labor of love that has taken a lot more time than originally planned. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a long, t long one year, but off and on, working hard on it and added some things and made it even better. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very rewarding. Jeff upgraded a lot of things, starting with the music you hear in the background. Well, I, would, I think one of the biggest things I really like is the CD or the, the music that um, was added. Grandpa used to play a Western song on a, on a 45 LP, and when people would come by, he would just put the needle on and let it play. Well, I, I hooked up with Keith Martinson from Northern Heart Media, and Keith actually composed an original song using the four instruments that are in the, the band, so many details, like smoke coming from the chimney, running water, working lights, all carefully set in place, adding to his grandfather's original work, which, by the way, is proudly on display too in an early 1960s 8mm film that plays alongside the 2020 version. It's got a little bit of grandson flavor too, yeah. So I added the uh, waterfall and the water going through the windmill, changed some things like added some doors opening and some pictures inside and changed everything over to LED lighting. So. It's, it's got a little flair of, of my flair too, so maybe a couple generations from now, who knows, maybe my grandson will take it and do something with it too. The effort was not without cost. Glenwood State Bank and Integrity Title stepped forward to help with expenses, but Jeff feels his grandpa is able to see and appreciate this newly finished Western town. Yeah, yeah, grandpa's uh, probably pretty excited. He, um, you know, he spent a lot of time back in the late 50s and early 60s and probably had a lot of joy in putting this thing together but I'm sure he's very very happy that it came to fruition and is now on display for all to see. For the Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Kukowski.